Remember, you are more likely to sabotage yourself than a lead manager sabotaging you. So let go, be vulnerable, and you're going to see your business go through the roof. Welcome to the No Limits Podcast, where limits do not exist, where you can create cash flow, equity, and real freedom with the power of real estate. Now, now, we will begin. Welcome to the dojo. 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 How to get to $1 million a year with one team member. This is Todd Toback, and welcome to the No Limits Real Estate Investing Podcast. If you have not been over to nextlevelwholesaling.com, I've got a gift there for you, and there's an assessment that you've got to take. It's a, basically a scorecard that's going to rate you in the four core areas of your real estate business. That is marketing, acquisition, disposition, and accounting. And accounting is not a boring word. It's basically how much money are you making, right? How much money are you spending? How much money are you bringing in? And that profit. So if you take this, uh, the scorecard, the assessment, it's actually going to tell you, uh, what is the very next step that you need to take, which lies in perfectly with today's episode of how to get to $1 million a year with one team member. So make sure you head on over to next level wholesaling.com and download the assessment today. So as a real estate a wholesaler, a real estate investor, one of our main jobs is to go out and to talk to sellers. It is communication. And your ability to communicate with people and to lock a property up under contract that's going to give you a nice chunk of equity is, is your highest paid skill bar none. All right. Now, if you ever heard of the 80 20 rule, that is 80% of your income is going to come from 20% of your efforts. But what I want to do today is teach you a way that you could take that 80 20 and then 80 20 it again, right? 80 20 and take that huge chunk of 80% of your income, right? With that 20% of work. And then I want to find a way that you can basically chop that again into 80-20 so that you can do the highest, 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 highest paid activities in your business. So that's a bold statement, right? That you could do $1 million a year with one, one additional team member. That's really, 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 really important. Now, obviously, I've talked a lot about an acquisition specialist on my podcast, but today I'm going to talk about a team member that I haven't talked about very often, and that is, okay, a lead manager. Now, a lead manager is someone who can go through all of your leads and screen them for you and say, hey, you know what? This person is ready to sell because 80% of your time right now, if you're on the phone and if you're talking to sellers and if you're marketing and if you're making it happen, 80% of the people who you talk to are not ready to sell right? They are not ready to sell. So you are essentially, right? Leaving money on the table. You're leaving time on the table. So what if somebody could say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to tee you up, right? All you got to do is talk to people who are ready to sell. Now I could tell you this, that on every single deal that I've done in my life from my company has done, right? I've done over 1100 deals in my company and counting, okay? And by the way, like 99% of those were locked up by somebody other than me. But I can tell you that the one thing that they all had in common is that the seller was ready to sell. So why do we spend so much time talking to people who aren't ready to sell? Now, if you're just getting started and if you're making this happen and you are cold calling, hey, I get it. And you could scratch and you could claw and you could fight your way to find that motivated seller. But once you get going, you got a little bit of budget, man, we got to work smarter. And so my goal for you is to look at yourself as making $1,000 an hour. And if you're doing, if you're doing activities that are worth less than $1,000 an hour, then you are losing money. By the way, I see my wife just joined the Instagram live. So uh, thank you, babe. Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a lead manager is somebody who nurtures your prospects until they are ready to sell. Now, very important, a lead manager, okay, they don't negotiate. 
They, okay, gather. They gather information so that they could tee you up for your prospects who want to sell. By the way, all kinds of fears may be going through your mind right now, right? And I, I've got a list of them, so I'm going to hit them all one by one and by one on why you have to do this, right? Now, how do you get started doing this, right? And I'm going to talk about your fears, but I want you to start making a statement to yourself and say, I don't do this anymore, right? I don't talk to people who don't want to sell. I don't talk to people who don't have a problem. And so what I need to do is I need to surround myself with somebody, okay? Who, who is going to set me up so that I don't have to do that anymore, right? I don't do that anymore. Say that to yourself. I don't do that anymore. And the things that you say no to, that's when you could focus on the thousand dollars or more activities. All right. Next, here are some fears you may have around this. I can tell you, if you don't want to hire an acquisition manager to lock up deals for you, which I highly recommend, the lead manager is definitely the next best thing. And should you have both eventually? Absolutely. But here are some fears. Number one, you're thinking, how do I find somebody? Who's going to come work for me? Number two, uh, what if they lose a lead? right? What if they kill a deal? And then three is what if they copy me and steal my business? Oh no, oh. <laughs> man, I can tell you what, I had all those fears when I first got started, right? Like someone's going to, you know, work in your business today and steal everything. And you now are going to be homeless on the side of the street and they are completely rich flying in a private jet. <laughs> how ridiculous does that sound? But number one, let's hit, how do you find somebody? Number one is that you network. You network constantly. You are always recruiting, looking for people to join your team. You should be looking for team members as hard as you are looking for motivated sellers. Everywhere you look, there's a potential team member, right? At your a church, at your, uh, you know, your Boy Scout club or your trail life. That's where we go with our kids. Um, your kids' sports teams, right? Look for, uh, you know, the parents who might be working. Maybe they know somebody, right? Look at your old friends who used to go to college with, see what they're up to. Look for people who love to talk on the telephone and who necessarily want to make money from home. But get out there and start marketing. Put a social media post out there and look in your network. My gut reaction is that the your first hire will probably be in your network. I can tell you that my best hires have come from my network, but we're not going to rely on that. Number two are job boards, right? You want to check out Indeed. It's not my favorite because I prefer people who uh, I know a little bit better, but you got to get out there and you can find diamonds in the rough. So I've used Indeed.com and you could definitely find some people there if you have an ad always running. Okay. Third, okay, is uh, social media. So I talked about your circle, but in your business, and I've talked about this in other episodes, when you're at a property, you want to go live, right? When you're with a seller who you just closed the deal with, you want to go live. If you're in your office and you want to talk about a position, you want to go live. You don't want to be a secret, right? You don't want to be a secret. So go ahead and market, 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 market. Your next lead manager is out there. They're going to free you up. They're going to take away 80% of the unmotivated sellers who don't want to sell. And now they're going to set you up with people who say, you know what? I'm ready to sell. I'm ready to sell. Number two is uh, they're going to lose leads. Well, I can tell you that if you do not have a lead manager and if you are doing everything yourself right now, you are already losing leads. Okay. When I was just about to have uh, my, I think it was my fourth child. I remember I looked over at my wife and I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I was so busy. I was running in every direction. I was completely ragged. There were leads definitely falling through the cracks. And I looked at my wife and I said, I don't want to go to work today. Right. And I could tell you that if you find yourself not being able to get back to new leads, the same day you get them, or you're not following up properly. I'll tell you what, you are losing leads, but it's not because you have a lead manager, right? It's because you are the lead manager. And if you're a lead manager and you're trying to be a business owner and you're trying to be an acquisition specialist and the accountant, you've got a problem. 
I find it physically impossible to be a one man show pretty much after the first six months to a year, you're really going to hit that wall. So go out there and embrace it. You will sabotage yourself far more, far more. Okay. Then you bring on a team member who necessarily isn't trained. And before you know it, they're going to be so good. You're going to pour into them. They're going to be a complete savage on the phone and they're going to block and tackle and open up holes that you never saw before. And you're going to see your income go through the roof. Very, very, very important. Now, this is the last one, which is very, very common. And that is what if they copy me, right? What happens if people copy me? Well, I could tell you this is that the, the actual act of being in isolation and doing everything yourself has killed more business owners than competition. I've had acquisition specialists go out and eventually start their own businesses. But in terms of any actual effect of someone competing and taking money out of my pocket, it has never happened. And ironically, people who have gone out and started their own business after working with me, I've maintained those relationships, right? And I've done deals with them, right? And we've made money together in different capacities. And so I could tell you that the fear of not hiring someone or not hiring someone because they are your competition, it's just wrong, right? And you will actually kill yourself. You will be your own competition. You will be your own worst enemy and you will put yourself out of business, right? I always say, what is the alternative? If you're not going to bring somebody in your business, what's that alternative? Are you going to be by yourself, you know, your entire career, right? You're going to be the one man show, right? How lonely you can't do something epic by yourself. You need a team, maybe not from day one, right? And maybe not month two or three or four or five, but after six months, right? You got to start to spread your wings and give your love, your knowledge, right? Your power, your enthusiasm to other people and, and benefit from that. Uh, in our business, this past week, our lead manager teed up two deals for our acquisition specialist. They're gonna be $35,000 each, 70 grand. Okay, $70,000 out of our database from leads that we didn't even know basically they had any motivation because no one was getting to them, right? Fast enough. Lead manager went in there, jumped in the dialer. They said, I want to sell, hand them over the acquisition specialist, $70,000, about $35,000 each. Those haven't closed yet, by the way, but they are under contract and they look really, really, really good. Remember, you are more likely to sabotage yourself than a lead manager sabotaging you. So let go, be vulnerable, and you're going to see your business go through the roof. All right. So question here, could you pair this person with an acquisitions manager. Well, initially I would suggest that you pair with them, right? That you bring them on, they set you up, especially if you are really good at sales and you're a good closer, right? Save the closing for you, but have them tee you up that said, hey, you know what? I wanna sell. And then set the bar for turning that lead over really low. So in our organization, all somebody has to say is yes, I'm willing to sell sometime in the next 90 days. That's all they have to say. If they say I'm willing to sell sometime in the next 90 days, they will send that over to the acquisition specialist. Now that's going to get rid of 80, maybe even 90% of people in your database. But now you can really, really, really focus on the people who at least, at least have some kind of timeline. That's very, very very important. So here is my challenge for you. If you're out there and you're a one man show and maybe you don't want to hire an acquisition specialist, go out there and hire a lead manager, right? This person can screen all of your leads and all they have to do is determine that this person wants to sell sometime in the next 90 days. Remember 80% of your time, if you're a one man show is spent talking to people who are completely unmotivated and don't want to sell. Right. So we want to change that. We want to flip that script and 80% of your time should be spent on people who want to sell sometime in the next 90 days. You're worth at least a thousand dollars an hour. You got to treat yourself that way. All right. Go out, create a marketing machine, look in your network for a lead manager, put an ad out there to go out and market for people. You could check out indeed.com. Keep that ad always running, always recruiting. Okay. Number three is always go on social media, tell people about your business, what you do when you're hiring, let them know, do not be a secret. Yes, you can pair this with an acquisition specialist. Uh, 
You can also do this by yourself, you being the closer and then hiring that lead manager. And I can tell you, I've done this myself. It works very, very, very well. Your business will thank you. Your bank account will thank you. And guess what? Your family will thank you because you won't be working all the time. So remember to head over to nextlevelwholesaling.com. Please copy and paste the link to this show. Share to three or more of your friends who you think might need to hear it. Always appreciate your review on iTunes. And until next time, I will talk to you on the next episode.